couple of questions. Uh, so going back to gluconeogenesis, right? So when you're fasting, my understanding was you would switch over to fat burning, right? So you would then burn fats and maybe a few ketones, but you still need glucose. Is, is that correct? Oh, you must. Okay. It's, it's, you, need, you need glucose and you need the gluconeogenesis. One of the main things that he's doing, it's happened mainly in, the, in your liver, but also it can happen in your kidney, in your colon. But let's speak about the liver and its take glycerol from hmm. the adipose tissue and alanine. And now it converts, it, 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 now they can go back and produce glucose, which is the opposite of what usually happens. Usually you use glucose, but you need glucose for other tissue. So that's why you're doing gluconeogenesis. Mm -hmm. Ketone body, keto bodies are mostly, mostly go to the brain. So you can also produce keto bodies that will go to the brain, so other tissues, but you still need to produce glucose. That's why the body is creating, is doing gluconeogenesis to produce energy when you're fasting and so on. But it, it's, it's hold for only a few hours. It's, it's, you cannot do it for longer. And one of the main things, that's, which is a previous paper for that that we published, the third six is sitting in the junction that make a decision whether you will use glucose or you will burn fat. And once you don't have enough glucose in your body, third six shut off the process of using glucose because you don't have glucose and, and, and activate the process of fat burning what's called beta oxidation. One question. So uh, males lived longer than females, right? Partly... Yeah, do, do you know what the cause of that was? Do we not not completely? I know part mm. of the of the mechanism. I know part of the cause. Okay, but yeah. not all of it. And the reason is, for example, in some cases, that already males in this trend live shorter than females. Mm. So, but this was the previous example. So, and one of the main things that Sir is doing is reducing the level of IGF one. IGF one is a hormone that is a, it's a insulin like gross hormone. And under calorie restriction, the level of IGF-1 is reduced. And also other properties that re negatively regulate going up. Cell 6 reduced the level of IGF-1, exactly like in calorie restriction. And in, in, my, in the mice that we checked, the level of IGF-1 was already lower in female. So the effect that Cell 6 did in, in the male, it's, in, in one strain, it's corrected it to the level of IGF-1 that was already existed in female. That's why the effect was, was high. But this can explain only part of the effect, but cannot ex explain all of it, because we saw that in other mice, that the difference in, mice, in lifespan of male and female is, is smaller. Again, the, the effect in cell six on, the, on lifespan was high, still higher in male. And, we, and we're still trying to find what is the mechanism under, underlying it. So part of it's because IGF-1, but not all of it's because IGF-1. Right. So in the, the, the current batch of mice where you have doubly expressed CERT-6, the males live absolutely longer than the females, right? Now, is, is that correct? At the end? Yeah. You it, mean after? I need uh, to look back on the graph. <laughs> I don't oh, okay. remember. Okay. Give, it, give me. Okay. Because in the other background, it, was, it took it exactly to the last of the female. But in this background, maybe you are correct. That's why I said that there's another mechanism beside IGF-1 that is male-specific for certain things. I saw that in one of the experiments that you did, right, you expressed CERT-6 only in the liver um, because you, you wanted to test whether it was systemic or... So can you talk about right. what you found with that and, and what the impact was? Okay. So as I said before, if you, in order to do gluconeogenesis, you need precursors, and this precursor can come from the liver, but mostly they come out of the liver. Mm -hmm. they, can, they need to come from adipose tissue and from the muscle. And we want to see whether the effect of 36, it's only liver specific or depend on the liver, or you need, still need the other tissues in order to get this effect. So previously we used the mice or mouse that have overexpression of 36 all over the body. Now we wanted to, to see if this, the effect is dependent on the liver or not. So what we did, we created a li liver specific overexpression of 36. It's only higher level in, in the liver, not in other tissues. 
And we found that it, this in regard, we didn't do the last thing, but in regard to, to the ability to do gluconeogenesis, it's, you still need the effect on the fat, layer, the fat tissues and the effect of, let's say you, you still need the effect of the fat tissue. That's what we, we think now. Nevertheless, you, if, if you will overexpress 36 in the liver, you will only in the liver, if this have a very important therapeutic in you still be able to affect many uh, positive, to get many positive effects of 36. It doesn't mean that, what I mean by that, that you can overexpress 36 only in the liver and you will get a lot of positive effects. For example, you will have increased beta oxidation in the liver, which is important. You will, you will have the effect on glucose on uh, the glycolysis in the liver. You will affect, you will get many effects which are related to 36, even if you will overexpress 36 only in the liver. But in regard specific to the uses of uh, glycerol, you still need 36 in the, in the adipose tissue because 36 helps to release glycerol in the adipose tissue, in the, in the fat tissue. Right. Okay, was yeah. this clear? Yes, yes, that was clear, thank you. And so within the liver, it, I think you also said that it reduced, uh, it improved the LDL-HDL uh, ratio, right? Ratio. Yeah. Okay, and and that was yeah, that we published in the past. That yeah, mm. we, sh uh, we showed the mechanism in the past. We show, we published this mm. mechanism a few years ago. Ah right right, um, the overexpression of Cert six because it was transgenic, it was all the way through the life of the mouse. Right. Correct. So, do you think that would be any different if you were if it was expressed kind of later on, or would that make any difference? Okay, so I will say the. I think you will have, and I, actually I know it from unpublished results that we have, that you can have positive effect of 36 if you if you activate it later in your life. You don't necessarily need it for young, you, in human, that's a different. If we want to take it to the clinic, we're not going to make transgenic babies and then wait till the age six, right? That's, <laughs> yes. Let's say not uh, in purpose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and so one of the questions that we asked, what will happen if you will do it later in your life? And we have preliminary results that we didn't publish yet, that if you activate 36 later in your life, you get some positive effect on, a, on liver health and so on, if you activate 36 later in your life. So you don't necessarily need to start for a young age. This is extremely important if you want to translate it into human therapy. Right, and yes, I'd like to come back to translation in a, in a few minutes. So did you get any opportunity to check uh, cognitive ability for the for your mice? Yes, <laughs> we did it. And so we did several uh, cognitive tests. We didn't do all of them. The main one that we found the different was with a male, what's called Morris water male. The check, this, this, this uh, assay checked what's called long-term long memory. And there was a significant effect when you overexpress 36, the long-term memory was much improved. Hmm. Shorter memory and novel object recognition, I think it was almost the same. But there was a significant positive effect, what's called long term memory or ability to, I don't know if you're familiar with this assay, it's called Morris Water Maze. Hmm. So you give the mice to swim in a pile, and there is a platform that they, that they, they can stand on it. And the mice don't like to swim. That, that rats do, mice don't. Hmm. <laughs> And the, what the, the, the first thing that they're doing is to try to find the platform and to, to sit on it because they don't like to swim. Mm -hmm. This is called the Morris water maze. And when you're doing this, so the way that you're doing this experiment, you, you, you train them for the location of the, of the platform and you check the time they take them to go to the platform. Mm -hmm. And if you are smart or let's say if you have a better memory, you will find the platform much faster on the second day and the third day, so, and third six over expression, very old age, have a much better long-term memory than normal mice. So it's very important. So it's, this is important for the human, but also when we take the platform and we remove it to a different place, and now we ask how long it's taken to, to refine it and learn the new position, they're doing it much faster than what's called wild type or normal mice. So that's, that's why, I said that we have a positive effect on the long-term memory. Interesting. Yeah, no, that's, that, that's good. Did you, did you look at other kind of phenotypes like uh, coat quality or 
just the general appearance? Um, it wasn't significant, I can say. Mm. We did it in the past. We shaved the mice and we tried to follow how long it takes them to regrow the hair, for example. Maybe it was too the number at the end, or the, the number of mice was too small. There was a change, but it wasn't a significant. So I cannot say that it's completely changed the, the hair growth. And the, you ask if they look younger, they look younger because you can see that they move more than the regular mice. It's very easy to distinguish between the two at old age. But we didn't check the quality of growth. I cannot say that. It's a good idea. I'll ask my student to do it, to follow it. Thank you. So, uh, so one last question on this. So did you do any epigenetic age tests on the mice? No, 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 not yet. Not yet. Uh, okay. Not yet. The, the, it will be really interesting to see whether that's also slowed right. down. Yeah. Right. 